Good evening, Americans. Tonight's special is about the Vietnam War. Throughout the show, we will be showing you footage that was captured before and during the Tet Offensive. soldier and good friend, Till Quest Park, and we will be answering some questions concerned by the American people. So the uh, first uh, question from America is, uh, define the Tet. Oh, the Tet basically is uh, the equivalent to the American and Chinese New Year. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing as the Chinese New Year. It's a huge deal. It's one of the most popular and important holidays in Vietnam. So is that why we have to like cease fire? So Yeah, they, they cease fire because it's supposed to be time of fun and peace for them, so it I don't know, it's usually three day, three or two day ordeal, ceasefire. Sound good. Yeah. So the second question from America is, where are we? So where are we right now? Well, right now this interview is taking place in a military bunker on top of Hill 875. Uh, and it's a hill looking over the military base of Quezon. So. Sounds good. All right, the third question is, from a soldier's perspective, what do you think of the Vietnam War as of right now? As of right now, I think the Vietnam War is uh, its actually pretty smooth for us. Um, it's going pretty well, killing a lot of uh, their people. We're really, we're really on top right now. Well put, sir. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to the ceasefire, though, because hopefully negotiations can happen during this time. So uh, the last question for us here is, what will you be doing in the next 48 to 72 hours since there's going to be no war and just a ceasefire. Well, in the next 70, I mean, in the next 48 to 72 hours, seen as uh, it's going to be a ceasefire, I'm going to be back. Incoming! Get down! Here I am in front of the U.S. Embassy in the city of Saigon, where last night at 2 a.m., 19 Viet Cong fighters attacked during the Tet ceasefire. I am now getting the inside story of what happened last night with a U.S. military soldier. I'm Leroy Jenkins, meeting with a U.S. military soldier. Hi, what's your name? Dante Willis. Nice to meet you, sir. In your opinion, could you tell me what happened last night? Well, what happened was, um, Saigon usually isn't a place of attacks. And, uh, last night at about 2 a.m., about 19 VC came in and <laughs> killed two military policemen. All right, well, what happened last night was around 2 a.m., um, about 19 VC came in in a van, and uh, they started 
firing upon the U.S. Embassy. There were two military police officers. They weren't expecting much because Saigon really isn't a, you know, it's not very hot or sporty down here. And uh, what happened was the, um, the military police officers closed up the embassy and hid inside, but the VC blew up the doors to come in. They killed one military police officer right away. The other one hid, he went in, and he fought him off long enough to call him back up, but he died. And uh, then the backup came in, and they killed about this, about 17 of them, so there were about two VC remaining and three military. <laughs> Five men died last night, 17 died. So. What are your emotions towards this attack? Uh, honestly, I think this attack is it's completely ridiculous. I thought the Tet, it was supposed to be a ceasefire, a two to three day ceasefire. They attack us right during their Tet. And this is what, it's unbelievable. It's un I think this will affect the American people back in the United States of America. Well, uh, I'm honestly, I don't know. It was supposed to be a ceasefire and uh, we got attacked last night. Five men died for no God damn <laughs> Final words for the viewers watching at home. Uh, yeah, this attack isn't gonna go unanswered. We're gonna get them back for this. And now we have some exclusive footage from the battle last night. So what is your opinion on the war, pal? It's a poor man's fight and a rich man's war. <laughs> what is your opinion on the war? Shoot to kill. In favor of the war, what do you think is a peaceful resolution to it? I believe we should just really pick our bags up and leave and let them solve their own problems. Seeing you favor the war so much, what is a good way to end it? You know, I, I say that we just um, that we just kill them all. Hi, my name is, uh, I don't know, Paul. Hey, you uh, hi, I'm Cole Pellet here. Hi, I'm Joe Gregory. And, um, we will be answering some questions concerning the American people. So the first... <laughs> so here I am, the U.S. Embassy, uh, where... I keep forgetting. Here I am. <laughs> I was wondering if you could please tell me the inside story of what you 